Go. Greetings all, Shane Bruce, Resto Ma Daisy. And today we're looking at uh, what has turned into a trend here at Resto Mod. Uh, we're not uh, specializing in uh, old guns per se anymore. Now it seems like we're doing a lot of current production stuff. And on top of that, we're doing multiples of current production stuff. What I've got to show you today is what I think is one of the really good values that are out there right now in Daisy products. Uh, the gun you're looking at is a Daisy Model 1999. Uh, this is uh, a Western Sky, or started out as a Western Sky carbine, and you can tell that because it comes with a kind of an azure blue stock, according to the box. Well, the customer that um, placed this order wanted two guns done, uh, the same but a little different because there'll be retirement presents, and they wanted to be able to differentiate between whose gun belonged to who. So the build sheet called for uh, curly maple slim jim stock with a longish forearm. Uh, the Model 1999 carbine was selected as opposed to a Red Rider because it came from the factory with the great big lever loop, which is kind of a cool thing, and also a fiber optic front sight. So, you know, got two basic items that don't uh, come on the standard Red Rider on the uh, Western Sky carbine. Another requirement from the customer was he liked the uh, Grandpa Jim build on the 105, so he wanted a Daisy Model 25 rear sight. So what we're going to do today is show you what it takes to go from a new Western Sky, because this is the second one. I haven't built it yet. I want to get it out of the box and show it to you. This is what they look like, bone stock from Daisy. And it's uh, not a bad deal at all. Now, it does have, you know, fall, uh, drawbacks. Uh, I think the biggest drawback is the blue plastic stock. Uh, and it's just the gun, not the kit gun. So you got the uh, box, you have the owner's manual, that's it. No safety glasses, no fold-up targets, uh, no tube of BBs. But you do get the big, lip, the big loop lever and the fiber optic front sight. And that's normally an add-on. I really like the fiber optic front sight because it really helps the shooting process. And of course, it comes with the standard uh, Daisy rear sight. So now, even though it doesn't say, it says model 1999 DB. Hmm, I wonder what DB stands for. Maybe D blue, I don't know. Anyway, it's a Daisy product. It's made in China, so it's current production. And it's got all the roll stamp warnings all over it, all over the place. And a laser engraved serial number. That's upside down, but we know this is a new gun, so there's no mystery about it. Now, the cool thing about the Model 1999 is it is an exact clone copy of the Red Rider receiver, common across the brand. So everything that's inside Red Rider is inside one of these. So in order to get this gun, which is advertised at 350 feet a second, but I've never seen one out of the box that did that. Um, this gun, when we started it, we ran a ballistics test on it, and it was averaging oh, right around 257 feet a second. So 250 to, three, 250 to 260, that's about average, on a Red Rider or a 1999 or a 105 buck, or if you can find one, a Model 10. All the current production small frame daisies run about the same speed. Now, they all claim 350 on the box because that's a leftover piece of propaganda from the 20s and 30s when they really did run that fast. So the objective here was to get this gun up to a respectable level. And that's doable. You only need two things to get this gun. Well, you need three things if you want it to look this nice. But if you want it to run as good as this gun to run as good as this gun runs, because it's running right now at around 347 with one entry over 351. So it's a super thumper. You need a Cobalt 327 super spring, and this replaces the main spring. You need a oversized air tube, 764, and that replaces the factory air tube. Those are the only two internal components that make the difference up to get from 250 to 340, these two bits of pieces. And you can get that probably for 25, 30 bucks, bang. So the gun's a good deal because they're selling at uh, Walmart if they're in stock for about 30 bucks, which is about two bucks more than a Red Rider, but you do get the, uh, oh my my, look at this. That is a broken lever. Oh man, that's raw. 
Well, this video has taken a turn for the worse. Time to write Daisy an email. I'm going to have to get a replacement lever. I've never seen that out of the box before. Well, that's the miracle plastic for you, kids. Well, bummer. It kind of takes some of the pop out of this. Good thing that this one works fine. Yeah, that one's just cheap, peachy keen. Man. Well, I'm really kind of bummed. But on with the presentation. What are we going to do? We're going to replace that. And we're going to clip this side off. And we're going to install this little flip peep sight. It's got uh, a peep sight and a buckhorn. And you can determine which is what by uh, locking down this little Phillips screw right there. So you can use it a peep sight or you can flip it down to a buckhorn. And this will be mounted here on the rear stock screw. The uh, front sight unit that's currently on it will get clipped here as well. You can see. You just clip it off there carefully. File that edge down, hit it with a little paint, and you're good to go. Looks appropriate, gives you a longer sight radius, helps with uh, target acquisition and firing in general. Well, so that's the idea. He wanted a match brace of guns with roughly the same stocks. Uh, this gun's forestock will be slightly shorter than that gun. That's the tell. And then I'll have, uh, or he'll have, two blue plastic stocks to figure out what to do with. And I'm going to have to uh, get this fixed, get that replaced. Well, it was uh, going to be a good news video to start, but we got a little bit of a bumpy road here direct from the factory. Well, kids, that's what's happening here at Rest of My Daisy. We're converting uh, current production guns for two pieces of equipment internally to get it up to super thumper land, and then whatever you want to do in terms of uh, external work on your stock, or you can just stick with the... Uh, blue stock. I mean, it's plastic. You can paint it. You can wood burn it. You can drill it out. You can do whatever you want. That's all we've got for you tonight, kids. This is Shane Bruce with Resto Mod Daisy, signing off.